how the day went out there? Uh, I made a lot of uncharacteristic errors and threw a lot of shots away. It wasn't very good. Um, but if I play good tomorrow, the tournament starts over on Wednesday, so sure. we're okay. Have you played, obviously, the other course? I'm sure you have at some point. How does Riverside fit you any differently than did Highlands? Riverside's great golf course. Um, I, I say it fits anybody who plays well. Uh, it's very uh, going to be a lot more gettable in the morning. The greens will be a little more pure. So, Do you have work to do on the range right now? Are these problems, whatever you didn't do well today, that you can want to go work on right now, or are you just... Get out of here. I've been my game's been great heading into this, and I just made a lot of uncharacteristic mistakes. Uh, I can work on my swing a little bit actually inside when I get to my back to my room, do a couple little drills inside. But I'm not worried about it. I, most of it was just I would say a little bit. I was a little bit uh, rusty f competition wise. I felt a little bit. Uh, I w I wasn't making. I was a little bit careless and. I would say too conservative with my swings. I bailed out a lot. Just didn't play like myself. I, I didn't. Uh, I didn't put my uh, my best game out there at all. Is this the first competition for you since the Scottish Open? Mm -hmm. Okay, which is about four weeks. Yeah, four weeks. That's a long so, time. This time of year, not and to, to come compete. into this uh, today was a big. You know, it just. I've been so anxious to start this. So I'm just glad I. I you know that the tournament starts over on Wednesday, and now that I've got 18 holes under my belt, and I can wake up in the morning and play a good course tomorrow, and if I play good, doesn't matter what I did today. Uh, I don't care if I'm 60th or the one seeds. So, did you have any issue with pace of play today? Oh yeah, it was horrible. Um, ho really tough to get in a rhythm uh, early on. Uh, we were really slow. Um, both the guys in my groups got penalties for their play, for their slow play. Really? But uh, yeah, both of them got one stroke penalties. Um, one guy had ten bad times, and the other one had six, and I had zero. I was walking ahead of them all day, um, but that happens. But that has an effect. That can have an effect on the golfer who's keeping pace. Um, I'm yeah, gonna, it does. I don't want to give you a bailout here, but no, it does. But I have to be able to deal with that. I, that happens to me all the time. I'm, I play really fast, and I have to. I have to be patient and slow down to meet normal five-hour rounds, which is just not my style, but I, that's what I have to do, and that's what it always is in the big, big tournaments. Was it the driver? Was it off the tee, or, or did you miss a lot of it greens? It really wasn't off the tee that much. It was irons, which I never do. I mean, I, I hit so many iron shots uncharacteristically offline, and my distances did were... Did you have a, a certain miss where you are missing one side versus the other, or...? Mm. Spraying it. it. Honestly, it was pure. It was pure shots, but it was mostly depended on the given shot. I, t I tended to miss it on the safe side, but still, I don't want to miss it. Miss it by that much and have to work for par. Um, I know what my I'm um, doing. My swing, my game feel awesome, feels awesome coming into this, and I'll just kind of regroup and uh, hopefully oh. get it get in a groove tomorrow. Watch you come up short on your approach at six, I guess. Was that Absolutely. typical that was a, of the frustration okay. that you're talking about? Typical of the, yeah, that was the, the worst mistakes shot. you were making? That was the worst wedge shot I've hit in like five mm -hmm. years. <laughs> so that was like complete lack of concentration, kind of uh, could tell I was out of out of sorts mentally. Mm -hmm. Just I wasn't, uh, wasn't my best today. Um, but yeah. I'll try again tomorrow. You have a number in mind of what you think you're going to have to do? I actually came into this a little bit differently this year. I, I don't want to look at any of the scores, and I don't want to see who I'm playing in match play. I'm just going to – because I, I just figured if I just play good for me, I'll definitely make it. Um, I have no idea what the scores are today. Uh, I don't really want to know. Um, I know that it was playing easy today for this course, so I'm thinking I need to have maybe – three or four under tomorrow to be safely in, under the cut. I might be wrong. I might be under the cut right now. I don't know. Have you gone with this approach before? Of no, it's the first time I've ever tried to not look at scores. It's just a different, just the way this format is. Uh, I just want to be focused on what I'm playing the course I'm going to play tomorrow so and not limit myself with a score um, and try to be myself as much as possible.